So the 18th of July this year will actually mark 200 years since the death of Jane Austen. In honor of this anniversary, historian Lucy Worsley has actually written a book called Jane Austen at Home. And it's pretty much an exploration of Jane Austen's um, favorite places. So like the places that she worked in and wrote in and, um, and her schools. So this is a really unique perspective on Jane Austen and her writing. Did you know Jane Austen actually got proposed to five times, but she rejected all of them. She was waiting for her Mr. Darcy. He never came. If you know a new mum or someone who's pregnant or just any mum, then they're gonna love Kate Ritchie's I Just Couldn't Wait to Meet You. Kate actually visited us here at Booktopia recently and we had a bit of a chat. Um, I'm not gonna say much about the book because she is gonna tell you right now. Do you wanna tell us a bit about this book? Because there's, there's an interesting story as to how it came about. Yes. Well, it wasn't even meant to be a book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I, when I was, I have a, a two and a half year old daughter called May. Um, she's a bit older than that now. and. Um, She's my first child and so I think like every new parent or expecting parent I was incredibly nervous and I didn't know what to expect and I was stressed out and you know there are lots of lovely emotions as well but of course just lots of um, panic you know yeah. when you don't really know what's going on and so I started uh, writing notes more to myself than anybody else um, and maybe to the unborn child we didn't know if we were having a girl or a boy and so I just kind of I just started jotting things down basically to silence that mm -hmm. inner dialogue going on uh, and then over a period of time it turned into a little bit of a letter I suppose uh, and then I thought well if I'm feeling all of these things Surely there are plenty of other people out there that feel mm. exactly the same way and and maybe people might want to read it or I might sell a copy and if I don't, um, if I don't then I have something that I can pass on to May. For my full chat with Kate, search for Booktopia TV on YouTube. Begin and Begin is a collection of short stories from some of our favourite Australian YA authors. We're talking Amy Kaufman, we're talking Jacqueline Moriarty, Lily Wilkinson, Will Costakis. Sarah McDooling, who is our YA expert here at Booktopia, she actually read the book. And um, I've got a bit of a quote from her. So she says, this gorgeous anthology is one of my favourite things that have happened in 2017 so far. So many amazing Australian authors, so many delightful, magical, wonderful YA stories. It's pure heaven. Read her full review on the Booktopian. Imagine if like Tim was, like if he actually came to Booktopia and sat next to me on this couch. Your memory must be pretty bad. Why? Because he did come to Booktopia. He did? And he sat right there. He next did? To the yes. How could I forget? Why don't we show people a little snippet of the interview? Do it now. Your body's really good at adapting to its environment. Mm -hmm. So when you think about a gym, a gym yeah. is gym environment and you are picking up big heavy pieces of steel numerous times yeah. and your body if you challenge your body enough it'll go hey we're not strong enough as we are at the moment we need to increase our size to be able to lift this weight yeah. like you keep trying to do so if you never push your body to that limit if you stay within a comfort zone you feel a bit of a burn but you know if you stay within that comfort zone it's not enough to challenge the body to change right so you really have to really challenge the body to change. It's like um, um, Muhammad Ali said, you know, they said, when do you, how many push-ups do you do? And he said, well, I don't know, because I only start counting when they hurt. That was a snippet of an interview I did with Tim Robards, who is the former bachelor, or a former bachelor, and fitness advocate. And he was just talking about his new book, The 7 to 1 Plan. If you want to watch the whole interview, search for Booktopia TV on YouTube. For the first time ever, all the Jack Reacher short stories have been compiled into one volume called No Middle Name. In this short story collection, you're going to find a brand new novella as well as short stories that were only exclusively published on ebooks. So if you're a fan of League Child's Jack Reacher series, you're going to want this book.
for your bookshelf. So you may have read The Famous Five by Enid Blyton, but have you read the grown-up version of the series? Previous books in the series include Five Give Up the Booze, Five Go Gluten Free, another one is Five Lose Dad in the Garden Center. So you can kind of see they're kind of a hilarious take on very topical issues. Our favorite one this week, this month, this year is Five Forget Mother's Day which um, is something that you don't want to do considering that Mother's Day is coming up. If you're interested in any of the books that I mentioned in this video today, you'll find them all at booktopia.com.au. <laughs> to say goodbye! <laughs>